Carbon capture technology removes carbon from the atmosphere so that it may be stored underground. This technology sequesters carbon dioxide up to 1,000 times more efficiently than natural trees and without any need for sunlight. This picture is of a prototype for the design of an artificial leaf, which is just one piece of an artificial tree. How it works. There are four main steps to how carbon capture works with artificial trees. They include the capture, the separation, the transportation, along with the storage. Large volumes of air need to be processed in order to effectively capture carbon dioxide due to the low amount of carbon dioxide in the air relative to other gases. Carbon capture technology can work if the wind speed and pressure are low or high. Separation. With separation, there's absorption, adsorption, and gas separation. The rate of absorbent and the separation process is affected by chemical reactions and the transfer rates. The design problem to overcome is to balance the amount of sorbent with energy lost due to pressure drops. The best sorbent, as indicated through testing, is sodium hydroxide. With this image of separation, you can see how some CO2 is trapped in the filter and the cleaned air has less CO2 present be than before. The CO2 is now bound to the filter as a bicarbonate. Before being transported, the carbon must be put under intense pressure and impurities need to be removed to avoid dry ice formation. The carbon dioxide can then be transported via pipeline, ship, or tanker truck for final storage. Storage. There are three main places where carbon dioxide can be stored after it is removed. There's geological storage, ocean storage, along with mineralization. Then there's deployment. There are many places that artificial trees can be placed. They can be placed along highways, they can be placed at sea, and they can be placed in industrial and rural areas. In the future, production of one artificial tree could become similar to manufacturing a car. With this in image of deployment, you can see what happens to the carbon dioxide once it's stored. There's mineral carbonation, industrial uses, along with geological storage and ocean storage. There are numerous criticisms of artificial trees. Air must be constantly channeled through trees, limiting where they can be placed. The costs are estimated to be very high at around $600 per ton of carbon dioxide captured. Also, a large volume of trees would be needed to produce a noticeable shift of carbon dioxide levels. These issues must be addressed before artificial trees may be widely used. Geoengineering technologies such as artificial trees should be implemented. Artificial trees would help capture carbon dioxide, one of the main greenhouse gases. Its four-step process of capture, separation, transportation, and storage is simplistic, while the science is already here and able to be expanded upon. Its logistics are troublesome, but with time, artificial trees could be an effective weapon in the battle against climate change.